How's it work? This is a 35,000 volt power circuit breaker. It goes into the breaker and goes out. Actually, the power generally will flow this way. Over here is a transformer which feeds this whole row of breakers. Inside the breaker, this is filled with oil. It's insulating oil so that this high voltage can be close to itself without arcing over. Current gets broken inside the breaker and then these switches can open to allow for say maintenance on the breaker or what have you or just clearing a fault or moving power from one line to another. So we can take a look over here and we can see that these switches are open and grounds are hung for maintenance to be done on this breaker. So the mechanism that powers the breaker operation is actually kind of a it's kind of a lot of different things. There's an electric motor here. This electric motor drives a hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump stores energy in this, which is called an accumulator. And inside the accumulator, there's enough of a charge. Probably uh, right now, there's 2,900-ish pounds. And that'll power maybe four or five close operations of the breaker. When the breaker closes, this mechanism here comes down and it'll it'll move to itself but that causes the rods inside the tank to come together when that happens look over at this one there's a spring up in that that little uh let's see my finger in there right there there's a spring and that spring stores energy so that when the breaker is called on to open, it's powered by the stored energy in the spring. All of these breakers are designed to operate no matter what on the trip because that is their ultimate purpose is to break current. So that spring has the stored energy even if there's no power, even if like you know everything in here has blown apart and all the fluids run out there's a mechanical this you can you can actually pull a lever that will cause this mechanism to collapse and for that spring on the top to actuate and open the breaker so that it can interrupt power to you know stop something from being energized or burning or save lives or whatever so watch the mechanism the close sounds fairly powerful because you're charging that trip spring at the same time and this motor is running to charge up the hydraulic so that it has all five charges on it. But when you hit the trip, it's pretty gentle sounding because it's just the spring. Comparatively speaking anyway.